Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo here with another great used travel trailer value from Parkway RV Center. Guys, used travel trailers are hot right now because you can't hardly buy new ones. In fact, they're already taking orders for 2022s. And uh, and hot and travel trailers with multiple slides under 20 grand are even hotter and that much harder to find, as many of you already know. Trust me. Today, we're going to review one of those travel trailers. This is a 2013 Keystone Hideout, uh, or Hornet Hideout, and it's the model number 31RBDS. Guys, the overall length, including the tongue, 35 feet, 8 inches, but most dealers advertise this thing by the body size, not the entire length. So a lot of dealers are going to post this as like a 31 or 32 footer. Guys, this unit has two slides. It's a great family model. It's two bedrooms. Got a full outside kitchen. Power awning. You know, they call these the hide, uh, hideout luxury edition. It's got the cold weather package for four seasons operation. Power tongue jack. Just came in uh, literally off the truck this morning, so it hasn't even been washed yet. You're looking at it just how it came in. It's a nice camper, guys. I like the fact both slide outs are on the same side, so that kind of opens up your options for, for campsites. But some of them are so narrow in some of the, some of the older parks that you can't you don't have room to put slide outs on both sides. In fact, it's on this side gives you a little bit more flexibility in planning how to park your camper at a campsite. And um, stripes to finish looks good. It'll look really good after I get my guys to wash it. power awning it's got the outside speakers got outside tv mount this big compartment back here is your outside kitchen now i got them kind of close here so i can't open it up all the way but i think we can open it enough so you can see how it's laid out i got a duck down on this one Got an outside electric refrigerator with freezer. Um, sink, hot and cold water, of course. Cabinet, storage. Look over here. You've got a fold-out tray. Cook, cook top, I mean. Two burners. Open that up. Man, this is Barbecue Central right here, guys. Got your... Beverage refrigerator, grill, or your cooktop. Put your grill out here. Set it up. Set your set your grill right here, or whatever you want to put right here. Man, you got it made. Love it, especially with kids. That outside kitchen. You know, a lot of people don't like to cook in these things. I mean, I love cooking in my in my RV, but a lot of people don't. So this right here, because you don't want to smell the fumes. Well, this right here, you've got your kitchen, and you don't have to smell up your uh, your camper when you cook, or make it hot or anything like that, because you're outside. And of course, this outside uh, cover, this door, will actually open up all the way and give you some shade and shelter if it's drizzling rain or something like that. And that thing's got some heavy duty shocks on it too. Then over here, of course, you've got two entry doors. Double axle trailer, got the actually the good size six those look like 16 inch tires. I'm not sure, but and you can tell we had we just got it in. You can see how the tires are dirty. 31 RB DS. Let's look inside. Because that's the star of the show after all. And uh, we're gonna look inside. And considering that we haven't cleaned it. This thing is a, this is a sweet camper. Now, it may be a little dark in here, guys. My uh, golf cart battery is getting weak, so hopefully it doesn't look too dark on film. Carpets look good, linoleum looks great, the upholstery's all original, everything looks great. Got the larger table booth that makes a bed that two, fo that two adults can sleep on. Unlike most table booths that just have really set up for a couple of kids or one full-size adult. 
Look at this nice kitchen area. Obviously, they did their cooking outside if they even cooked at all. Uh, stove eyes look great. Stainless steel oven, stainless steel microwave. Got a Atwood, which is Dometic. <laughs> uh, RV refrigerator freezer. It runs off propane or electric. TV, Jensen audio system, everything's here. This TV will actually swivel around at night so you can watch it from the front bedroom so you don't have to have a separate bedroom TV. Of course, you have to open your side doors or close them to do that, but uh, that's always a nice feature. Looking back here, guys, this is the front. Um, this is the front um, bedroom area. You got a Queen Island bed, original bed spread, matches everything. I forgot to turn some lights on in here. Sorry about that. At least I got my light on my GoPro. Lighting it up a little bit. Carpet looks good. Got storage, closet space. Not bad. Perfect for mom and dad. Then you can, all right, look through here. Um, I don't see any signs of leak damage anywhere, or any kind of, um, any concerns. I mean, to be an eight-year-old camper, this thing's in very good shape. We're in the rear bedroom now, and this is the kids' room. You got a double bunk up here. You can remove these. These are just cushions. Um, across from that, you've got a bunk that folds down from the wall, and then you got a sleeper sofa. So, guys, if you've got kids and they want to bring friends with them, they've got their own area back here, guys. It's great. Uh, you can sleep two on the sleeper sofa, one up here, then one to two behind me. So, I mean, you can sleep three to five people back here. It depends on how big they are. With room, at the, with room probably to sleep one or two more on the floor on a pallet or a sleeping bag or an air mattress or something. So, guys, sleeping capacity is not going to be an issue. You've got a place there for a TV. Uh, you know, if kids want to bring Xbox, PlayStation, whatever, I'm not a big fan of them camping, but... Hey, whatever works, whatever keeps them happy, I guess. And guys, this is a hard price range to find right now. And my gosh, if you told me two years ago that how hard it would be to find used travel trailer for under twenty grand, I'd have laughed you off the lot. But it's amazing um, what campers cost now. And I'm not talking just about for y'all as buyers. I'm talking about even for us. I mean, I'm basically, these things at auction, guys at wholesale auctions, are bringing what I was selling them for to y'all a year and a half, two years ago. And they're bringing that much or more at dealer auctions. It's crazy. It's got the vent fan, the shower tub, of course, because I figure you're going to have small kids if you've got a you got a floor plan like this. Got a 15,000 BTU ducted roof air. Of course, furnace, six gallon water heater, all that good stuff. Got the nice cabinets with the gla etch glass front. The countertops look great. Nothing swollen, nothing like they stuck a hot potter pan on there and burned a countertop, nothing like that. Look great, great family camper. You got good storage. You've got plenty of sleeping. That outside kitchen's a big plus. That power awning's a nice touch. Um, plenty of windows. This is nice, guys. Uh, of course, this one is a 2013, so it does qualify for our 90-day nationwide limited easy care warranty that we buy on your behalf, included with the purchase, and also qualifies for our four-page inspection process. All of that is included for our option A haggle-free price of $18,900. This, this unit is priced where you can go to your bank or credit union and get a loan if you need to. You can go through one of our nationwide lenders if you want to, get you a little bit longer term loan. Um, if you need to finance it or you can pay cash. Guys, you, you wouldn't believe it. It's absolutely amazing that almost 65% of our sales are cash sales. And I know people saying, oh, during the pandemic, nobody's got money anymore. That's that's furthest from the truth I've ever seen. It's the craziest thing I've ever seen, guys. And um, 
And guys, I know banks have tightened up financing. I know that they're not wanting to loan as much money now on used RVs. They're even no matter how much the price is compared to the book value, they're wanting 15, 15% down if even with great credit. But you know what, guys? That's just the way the banks are. They're they're panic. They're panicking a lot still, even after a year after going through all this crap for over a year. They're still. Uh, and I get why they do that, because I, I got a couple of buddies that are our reps for these different banks, and it really makes a lot of sense. You know, they know a lot of people still, jobs are kind of in and out, and not as bad as it was a year ago, of course, but, you know, I know the banks, you know, they, they got a lot of um, RVs out there that have that are due for repossession they can't even touch right now. And I know what I get where the banks are coming from. They want you to pay money down so that you're not upside down in it if they have to repossess it. They want to be able to take it to the auction, sell it for what you owe on it without having to come back on you for the difference between what it brought at auction and how much you actually owe on it. And I, I'm a, and I know most of y'all are never going to let this thing go back for repossession, but a lot of people, a lot of people have, especially in the current, you know, the current market and the current. Um, economy we're in and it's a lot better than it was a year ago but still i mean guys we got a long way to go to get back to what it was 18 months ago so um now i can understand banks why they're being cautious i can't blame them i mean you know they they, they you know heck they it's money to them too so, you know, y'all y'all be patient with us. You know, when you apply for financing here, we're like you. We're at the mercy of the banks. They're the ones with the money. They're the ones that decide whether to lend it or not. You know, we do our best to get everybody approved that we can. Sometimes we can. Guys, there are certain situations where we can't. No matter how you justify it, RVs to the bank are a luxury item. They're a want, not a need. And they know if you lose your income, something happens the RV is going to be the first thing that you're going to let go back to the bank because it's a want, not a need, a luxury item. They're not going to, they know you're not going to let your car go back because you need a way to drive to survive to, to transport trans, transportation. They know you're not going to let your house go back unless you absolutely have to because you got to have a roof over your head. But the RV is, like I said, it's a luxury item. So they are a little pickier because they know that in an emergency situation this is the first thing you'll let go back to the bank before anything else so they want to a they want to like i said again they want to make sure that you have enough equity in that they can sell it for your payoff and be um like i said it's a risk they have to take so they're being a little pickier anyway guys i don't you love don't you love this beautiful complicated world of of the rv industry it is never ceases to amaze me let's just say that <laughs> but anyway guys this is the nice unit it's eighteen thousand nine hundred dollars includes a warranty includes a full four page inspection process which gives you a lot of peace of mind and that's worth a lot of money because there's not another dealer out there that's going to take an eight-year-old camper or even a one-year-old camper and put it through the inspection process that we do guys nothing anywhere close as complicated or as thorough and we do that, guys, because we want you to come pick it up after it's been through service and clean up, get your walk through, and take it, and you and your camp and you and your family go out and enjoy this beautiful lifestyle of RVing. I mean, it, it gets in your blood, guys. It never goes away. I mean, heck, I'm around these things six days a week for my job, and I still use mine. Um, I mean, it's just a, you know, it's just in your blood. Once it gets there, you, you can't ever get rid of it gotta warn you once you own one you'll probably always have one if you can anyway guys 18.9 haggle free firm get the 90 day warranty get full page inspection after, we always go through sorry it goes through service after purchase so everything's fresh everything's cleaned up nobody's you haven't had hundreds of people going in and out of it pushing buttons and trying stuff out and kids jumping up on furniture spilling food and drink and stuff like that but we get a lot of customers here, guys. A lot of lookers. And uh, this way, everything's fresh, done. The way it works, after you purchase it, it goes in line to get checked out by my certified RV techs. Once it gets to its place in line, then they're going to 
go through this uh, thing and make sure everything works in that four page inspection process which I will include a link in the video description below on YouTube so you can see everything that we're going to inspect repair if needed and guarantee to work for the price you pay and then you got that 90 day easy care limited warranty too that we buy for you that cost us a few hundred bucks just for your peace of mind are you going to use it chances are probably not but you can also extend it as well you can get you an extended warranty at very affordable prices we just sell them a couple of hundred bucks over dealer cost or actually a hundred dollars on these uh just to cover the paperwork the extra stuff we have to do for that warranty uh, other than that, it's pretty much a dealer call. So if you're interested in that, ask your salesperson or finance manager for a quote on an extended warranty. And they have a variety of different ones, different coverages, different deductibles. Um, and it's Easy Care, which is the best and most well-known of the aftermarket RV service contracts and warranties. And um, yeah, it's nice, guys. And what I like about Easy Care especially for those of you who are buying something to live in is they will pay for any licensed repair facility for an approved claim for your camper so in other words guys if you're set up somewhere for a few months something goes bad you file a claim gets approved you know you don't have to take it to a new dealer where it sits on their lot for months on their service lot waiting for its turn to get checked out uh, to re be repaired you can take it to any licensed dealer or any licensed repair facility in the United States for an approved claim, including a mobile RV technician. So you can call one of those guys. They'll come out, fix it for you. And very minimum break in your daily routine. You don't have to pack it up, leave it somewhere for months or weeks. And you don't have to, uh, you know, if you're living in it, man, that's expensive to have to get a hotel for that long. So definitely got some cool, uh, you know, it's a good warranty, guys. I really like it. I, we have sold a bunch of, bunch of them. But it's entirely up to you whether you buy it or not. I mean, for the 18 9 price, you are getting the 90-day one. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. I know this was just a quick, I meant to do just a quick walkthrough, but spent a little more time in here than I planned on. But nice camper. If it's something you think you're interested in, please give us a call, 706 nine six five seven nine two nine uh please subscribe to my youtube channel if you hadn't already hit the bell notification button smash me a thumbs up if you don't care feel free to comment um share on social media the more interaction you give my channel the more uh youtube likes to share my channel and in their algorithm and you know help support my channel as well Thank you again for watching. I really appreciate that. And uh, come out and visit with us. We got over 100 plus used RVs in stock. Got several travel trailers I should be posting here in the next few days. But as always, if you don't want to wait for the video or wait for it to show up on the website, give us a call. Get a salesperson. Tell them what you're looking for. And even if you don't see it on the website, we may have it here in stock. It's not posted online yet. Or it may be coming in, guys. We're... My gosh, folks, we're selling 15 to 20 campers and, and motorhomes a week, and we're buying that many to replace them. So our inventory is just constantly, constantly changing. You want to come out and look in person, guys? Come on. We're the only dealership around that lets you simply look without going through a sales office, without being escorted around by a salesperson. You can come out, park your car, wherever. Only thing we ask you to do is not park in the driveway, because some people do for some weird reason. And... uh Get out and look. Everything's priced. Everything's marked. If you want to talk to somebody, you got one of two things you can do. You can either go up to the main showroom, poke your head in the door. One of my guys will help you if they're available. If not, if you don't want to walk up there, you can simply pick up your phone, call the main office, tell them where you're at, and they'll send somebody out here as soon as they're available as well. So, And uh, they're not going to ask for your phone number. They're not going to get your email. They're not going to bug the piss out of you like other salespeople do. My guys have more business now than they can handle with just five salespeople. So, you know, they're they're here to answer your immediate questions. And, you know, nobody has to put a gun to your head to make you to buy to buy an RV, guys. So uh, keep that in mind. We're not, there's absolutely no pressure here to buy. You can come look as long as you want, as often as you want. Whether you're wanting to buy today, whether you're wanting to buy next week, next month, next year, the next 10 years, you're always welcome here to come and look at your own leisure it's like a free rv show six days a week but it's used rvs instead of new 
I mean, if you want to go out and lose 33% of the depreciation when you talk when you tow a new uh, camper off their a new dealer's lot then go ahead if you got that kind of money to burn but you know good thing about these campers guys they've already lost their depreciation for for the next little bit so it's a chance to get you a nice camper to do everything a new one will do for a lot less money thank you again for watching and um Financing is available with approved credit and down payment. We also offer nationwide delivery if you're interested in any of those options. Best way to contact us, quickest way, most efficient for you and us is to pick up a phone call 706-965-7929. I'll put a link below in our web, to our website, parkwayrbcenter.com, so you can see our current inventory of used travel trailers. Thank you all again for watching. Look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.